Michael here, look. And uh, we, education in this country is extremely important to every parent, to every parent and every family. And um, we are, have been traditionally known <coughs> as the land of the saints and scholars. And for many years, unfortunately, the education system has deprived people with disabilities uh, of a proper education. And uh, if it wasn't for the good graces of special schools, like special schools for the blind, special schools for the deaf, and special schools in general, uh, people with disabilities in this country would have been deprived of a basic education. Uh, I always believed that the SNA uh, and the resource uh, our structure that was introduced was a very positive step forward in creating equality in education. But I have to say that the system itself is, is broken and the announcement that was made yesterday is not acceptable and is not acceptable in the way it was announced and the confusion that the announcement has caused. So I'm now calling on the Minister for Education to immediately clarify the situation, uh, to come out and make a statement uh, to let the parents of vulnerable children, the 42,500 vulnerable children in this country, know that this state does care. And that what is being introduced is more an administrative change uh, as much as anything else. I do believe that there probably isn't 42,500 uh, children out there who need uh, resources. I would question the methodology and I welcome the announcement that there's going to be a review uh, of methodology and I would support calls in this house to fast track, the, fast track that review if there is waste within the allocation of SNAs and resource teachers. Let's deal with that but let's not have a universal cut where you have a situation now compared to 2008 where uh, a 25 percent less resource hours are being made available to the people who need it. Let's deal with the system, not create a situation where there's a universal cut. Universal cuts as a rule don't work. I want to see a situation in this country where every primary school teacher has the skills to be a resource and an SNA uh, I'd love to see a situation that could hear, look, where we don't need, uh, uh, where we don't need the 10,500 SNAs, or certainly not that number. I would like to see a situation in this country where the teachers, Make those the, time very, the, very, good, the, the very good teachers in this country are, are upskilled to such a degree that they're able to provide the necessary supports. So I think a, a, a statement from the Minister for Education, from himself, not from his department, is of absolute priority at this point. Yeah, 